Hey y'all, it's Shannon from 8 Crazy, and today I decided to do my tutorial with a southern, southern voice so that you don't get sick of my voice if you watch them all. So anyways, today we're dealing with our FTP, and that is just, it's where everything on your site is hosted, your documents, your graphics, your files, um, your images. So, um, most of my clients I have signed up through DreamHost. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to dreamhost.com and you're going to go ahead and click on customer login and you're going to put in the information that you did when you signed up your email address and your password. Click on web panel login and it's going to take you to a page like this and you're going to go up here to manage users. Click on manage users. And it shows you here your username right here my username's 8 crazy but whatever's there that's your username so go ahead and make note of that and then you're gonna click on edit down here new password go ahead and put a password in because we're doing this because you didn't know what it was in the first place so put the password in hit click save changes and um, you can go ahead and use DreamHost if you know how um, to upload documents and such, but I find the easiest way to do it is actually through um, some software called FileZilla. So I'm going to have you, and this is what I use every day, I'm going to have you go ahead and go to FileZilla right here, dash project.org. And this is the screen that's going to come up and you're going to click right here on download FileZilla client. So when you click on that, you're going to go through the download process, but we're not going to go through all that right here. So once you have it downloaded, then you're going to go ahead and open it up. And this is what it's going to look like right here, this screen. So what you do is you put in under host your web address, but you don't have to do the HTTP. You just do the plain old address going to put in that username that you just saw and the password that you just created. Now the port number is always 21 and then you're going to hit quick connect. You're going to see it doing its business over here and um, I have several domains so you're going to only have one that's going to come up and, um, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on it and you're going to see that your options your options are going to be admin content includes. I've gone ahead and added in a new directory called documents here. And um, your content, like that's where your themes are and, and stuff like that. Um, but for the purposes today, I'm, I really want to show you how it is that you can add files to be hosted, whether you have advertisements that need to be hosted or documents like PDFs or forms that need to be hosted. So when you want to create that new directory, the way I got documents here was I, I was hovering over here on this side and I right clicked and I hit create new directory. And it's going to come up here and right where it says new directory, you type the name of that directory that you want to have. So I had gone ahead and I had typed documents and you would click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I already have it there. And then um, I'm going to come over here to this side. This side hosts basically everything that's in my computer. And so I would find a document that I wanted to bring over and I would click on it, hold it down, and I would drag it over to that documents folder and release. And um, you can see down here that it's processing what it's doing. It's bringing that file over. And as soon as it's done, we'll click on that directory and we'll see what's in there. So I'm going to double click on it. And you can see that there's that file that I just brought over. So it also shows you what the path is right here to that file. And that path is going to be how you're going to create the hyperlink in your site to the file. Um, or if you needed the hyperlink... Um, or the URL path like for your um, advertisement or anything like that. So 
um, the correct path would actually be, it would be the documents directory forward slash, and then that um, document title exactly the way that you see it there. It has to be exactly the way. It's case sensitive, so you need to make sure that you get it right. And so your path would be that whole thing plus it would still have the HTTP. So that here would be the actual path that would take you to that document. So when I copy that path, if I come up here to, and I go into, um, back into the internet, when I bring up that URL path that I just created, where I'm hosting that document, it's going to show you the document that I just hosted there. So this could be many things. It could be um, a form that your client needs to print out and fill out and mail to you. It, it could be an interactive PDF if you have those um, types of capabilities where they could fill it out online and email it directly to you. There's lots of things that you can do there. Um, and that is how you can access your FTP and upload documents for your own personal and business use. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.